Hey guys, what's up? It's David here, and today I'll be doing a quick demonstration of uh, Froyo, aka Android 2.2, on the iPhone 3G, just to prove that it's a 3G. Um, as you can see on a 3GS, you would see uh, reflective text. It's not there, it just as iPhone in gray text. So uh, let's start it up here. We need to turn this off. and then wait for it to turn off alright so now it's off you turn it on again okay so right now it loads up open iboot so um, open iboot is a cool program that allows you to choose any OS like I've seen people put XP and Linux on here it's pretty cool um, so to select it, you just use the sleep wake button. You can see, so press this. Um, so right now we want Android because that's what I'll be demonstrating. We press the home key to load it, start loading it up, and then have all this text coming through. It's kind of intimidating to me, but um, yeah. Well, this loads. Uh, I installed this using. Um, iPhodroid or whatever, iPhodroid, I guess. Um, it's a really easy application, so if we just start it up, um, basically you plug it in, you just click shoot, and then it just installs Android on there. Um, anyways. All this, let's just wait, all this installs. Alright, so now I think it's starting to load Android before I was just preparing it. Alright, so as you can see, this is the Android uh, boot boot screen, boot logo, whatever you want to call it. Um, so while it loads, it's going to load real quick, and then you'll have the standard Android lock, which should pop up soon. Alright, so right now it is not 12.09 a.m., it's uh, 809, not like you guys care, but just do just did a really simple pattern that goes around like this, loads it up, and right now, as you can see, this is Android. So to prove that it's uh, 2.2 Froyo, um, I'll quickly go to settings, go all the way down to about phone, and right now you guys see that. Android version 2.2. So let's go back. Um, there's not much to this version of iPhone Droid. It's um, it's really stripped of all its features, but um, all the basic Android applications are there: uh, browser, messaging, phone, um, quick boot to restart the uh, phone and go into open iBoot again. Uh, YouTube, all that good stuff. So let's just start a browser. Um, with uh, latest iPhone Droid version, uh, I think it's point six. You can hook up your iPhone to uh, the wireless network at your house, or whatever. Um, I think yeah, this is my first time actually getting like hands on with the Android operating system. I've been using iPhone for a while. Um, let's just look up Wikipedia. I'm not used to this. Oh, what do you know? There it is. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I'm not exactly used to the uh, Android operating system. Um, I prefer iOS over Android um, just because I don't know if it's loading right now. Oh, 
There we go. Um, it loads pretty quickly. Um, personally, I, I think that Safari is a superior browser. I know I'm like going total Apple fanboy right now. That's just personal preference, though. So to go back, you just press the sleep-wake button. And so that's about it. Um, it's just pretty cool that you can install Android on an iPhone. Um, they don't have this for the iPhone 4. Um, iPhone Droid is only made for the iPhone 3G, so do not attempt to install it for any other model, um, any other iDevice. Um, so that's it. If you like the video, um, thumbs it up, thumbs it up, um, like it, and subscribe. Uh, thanks.